So I watched this uh, Jesse Bam Rodriguez versus Sorum Visay fight, and this is what I thought. Right off the bat, um, from what I understand, Rodriguez was coming up in weight, but by the looks of it, if he didn't weigh as much as Rung Visay, and I think he probably weighed a little bit more on fight night, he definitely, he's a naturally bigger man. He's got the bigger frame, right? He maybe just needs to fill in and will move up way past where Rung Visay tapped out basically, right? 115. <clears throat> so there's that. But even though, you know, he's the bigger man, the thing that was the most apparent to me was that he has no punching power. Give the video a like, guys. Or a dislike. Leave me a comment. Am I wrong about this? I mean... The reason why I say that is because, well, yeah, he is bigger, right? And he was just hitting Rungvisai with everything but the kitchen sink and sink. And he wasn't able really, to, not really, wasn't really able to buzz him. So, especially in that final sequence, I mean, he just unloaded on him and Rungvisai stood up to all of it. It was just... Uh, the um, the pressure and the volume and you know he busted him up throughout the whole fight and you know Rung Visay is old and it looked like he didn't want to be there he gave it a good go for a little bit but couldn't really deal with the speed or the movement and you know it just was what it was what it was supposed to be but you know some people might want to say what do you mean he doesn't have any punching power he knocked Rungvi side down. I mean, that was a slip. <laughs> and even in um, the Quadras fight, it looked to me like that wasn't even a knockdown. Quadras blocked that shot and just got, you know, knocked off balance. I mean, you know, there's there's some power on his punches as he seems to be much bigger than these old men, but... Uh, he doesn't really punch through the target. He um, His punch technique is it's okay, but it's not very good. And he's just, he seems to be more interested in, you know, being a fancy Dan rather than a killer. But, you know, we'll see. He has, a, you know, probably a long career ahead of him and... You know, he could still develop that power. But to me, you know, he's he's got a little bit of that syndrome that I like to talk about here on this channel insofar as punching. He doesn't fully extend a lot of his punches. And he just seems more interested in, you know, hitting you fast rather than hitting you hard. So, you know, maybe it's a... Maybe it's a tactical thing, you know what I mean? But, yeah, that was one thing that was very apparent to me, that, that he didn't have much power, which is why I believe um, he started getting a little frustrated with Rung Visay and started low-blowing him pretty viciously. And I think that's how he was able to force a stoppage in those maybe last 10 or 15 seconds where he just opened up on... So Rung Visay, he landed a, you know, I think a, like a jab to the nuts or below the belt at, at the very least. And I think maybe it was a right hand, a hook, something. But yeah, it seemed to me like because his power really wasn't, he was busting him up, but he really couldn't put him down legitimately or even buzz him. So he went for the nuts like Andre Ward. But other than that... um. He looked pretty good, you know. He had nice footwork and good hand speed, nice combinations, angles, as uh, the snake kept repeating over and over. Yeah, you know, pretty, pretty flashy, pretty good, decent little fighter. Um, 
I don't know. I thought maybe it was because he was afraid of what was coming back. And the fight was very competitive for like four or five rounds maybe. The, the zone commentary was just, oh my God, they were just forcing this guy down my throat, telling me how amazing he is, all this and that. And it's like, yeah, he's good, but calm the fuck on. He wasn't the puncher in this fight. He was he was like a fighter boxer. He was the volume guy. And, and the old man who was, who was the puncher, and it showed, I think, in this fight, just couldn't keep up with, with the volume. That's what it really was. It wasn't that bam like was the puncher in this fight he wasn't he really wasn't but this uh the mora and just the, the zone commentary it's just horrible man they're, they're just horrible but anyway yeah it was a pretty good performance he looked pretty good you know it's at the same time they're talking about moving back down because you know they picked these guys off at the right moment, and the two guys that are still very viable in the division, Estrada and Chocolatito, at this point, probably beat him still, you know? Um, or it would be too big of a risk at this point in time, so whatever. It is what it is. He looked pretty good. He looks promising. I think he needs to work on his power. He needs to work on punching through the target and needs to learn how to control range or maybe better yet uh, the real estate this he needs to learn how to control his opponent because it's like he's either boxing you from long range or he's stepping to the inside to brawl right or maybe you know just, just fight a little bit but in between, it seems to me that in between that long-range boxing and the inside fighting, there's not a whole lot of mid-range. But, you know, he was covering up pretty good when he was stepping to Rung Visay when or when Rung Visay was closing the distance and stepping to him. So, you know, that's, you know, it, it wasn't horrible because he was covering up. But there is that, that dead spot between or at least in many instances there was this dead spot between his long range game and the inside fighting where you know i think he could be taken advantage of and i think he needs to control the opponent on the way in and if he is the one closing the distance going from long to inside you know like you gotta at least he fainted all right but you got to faint on the way in or throw some punches, right? If Even if you're just using a pawing jab, you know what I mean? You got to do that. Um, and then when your opponent is stepping to you, don't just let him in. You know, he allowed Rungvisai to, to step to him a lot without doing anything about it, not controlling him or whatever. So, you know... Also, when he throws punches, you know, his head kind of stays in the middle. So that that's a bit problematic. But he fights with his hands up, you know, and he's fast. He's got good footwork. And, you know, there's there's something there, definitely. Uh, but he's still very young, very green, and still needs a lot of developing, which is probably why they're just picking off these old men at 115. Because it won't be long before he is in that weight division. And then running back down, if that is to happen. Because the two top guys in the division, unless I'm forgetting someone here, uh, are probably at this point a little bit too much for him. Too experienced and just too good. Um, Arung Visay, he gave it a bit of a go and he tried a little bit. But he just doesn't look the same to me. He, he looks a lot softer these days. In the body, I mean. And, you know, he was going to... He just doesn't have that fire anymore. He's old and and probably will be retiring very, very soon. So, yeah, good performance. Lack of power. A little bit of dirty fighting. And a little bit of frustration, you know. It seemed to me like there was 
pressure on him to get the stoppage and he couldn't really do it legitimately so he went for the nuts which is you know kind of fucked up but uh all in all still a pretty good performance and you know just too big too fast too fresh too you know too skillful for rung visai who's you know basically done i think anyway so yeah that's a quick little review we'll see what uh bem rodriguez has to offer still and you know there's definitely definitely a lot of work to be done there and you know something to work with too so yeah we'll see what he has um and keep your punches above the belt god damn it thanks for watching